Well, you know, the way Newton says, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. In medicine, it's the same way. For every positive effect, there seems to be a negative effect that comes right along with it. And it's the same way in yoga. Yoga has many, many positive effects. But it also has a good number of negative effects. And that's why I invented this site, Yoga Injury Prevention. Uh, it turns out, we did a study of 33,000 yoga teachers and yoga practitioners and found that it was almost unanimous that the biggest cause of yoga injury was being overly enthusiastic, being zealous about it. Uh, it could be it take the form of uh, perfectionism, it could take the form of egotism, or uh, competitive either with other people or too competitive with yourself. But people try too hard and they end up hurting themselves in the very act of doing what they think will help. So we have a site now. You can put in a condition that you do have and see what poses you shouldn't do, because it will make the condition worse or even add another one. What poses you should do, or, because they will actually help the condition you have. And other poses that are neither here nor there. You're perfectly free to do them and they're not gonna have much effect on your condition and your condition's not gonna have much effect on them. So that's the basic point of it. Then we went ahead and said, well, maybe people want to know if they can't do a pose. Well, what can they do? So we developed workarounds that for any pose you can't do, there's another similar pose that you very likely can do. And we put those in lots of pictures of everything we're doing as well. It's at yip.guru. And to go in, you may have to go www dot yip dot guru and uh, I'd like you to take a look.